Hi everybody, it's me, Hellman, and today I'm going to be reviewing this Thomas and Friends episode called Kevin's Cranky Friend. So, and uh, I already did a review, I already reacted to this episode, and let me tell you something. I, I did not have a happy reaction, because a lot of, there was a lot of things wrong with this episode that not many people might see, but I took offense to a lot of the parts in this episode. So it basically starts off that the docks is very busy, right? It's very busy over at the docks. And then, and then when Thomas asked if he could, because you see, like, there's a lot of engines coming in and out, and they had places to go, people to see things to do, well, jobs to do, and you know, you know that kind of stuff. And then, and then, and then Cranky's kind of a little bit destructive, too, like, he has so much to do that he actually drops a lot of stuff, too, and almost crashes into people and engines. And then when Thomas asked Cranky if he could be uncoupled by now, guess what Cranky says, in a very rude way. Not right now. Can't you see how busy? You'll have to wait. He kind of says it in an asshole way. If you if you watch my review, you'll know what I'm talking about. So then, so then, when Thomas gets uncoupled, he he's late, and it's so the top of Matt is wondering why Thomas is late, and Thomas tell tells him that there that Cranky's very busy and that he couldn't uncouple him on time. So when so Thomas decided to take Sir Top of Hat over to Brendam Docks, right? He decided to do that. And then Sir Tom Hat realizes how busy Cranky, Cranky is, and <clears throat> what am I trying to say? And then when Sir Tom Hat sees, says that Cranky should have another crane to help him out, Cranky says it in a very rude way, kind of talking back to the, his boss, saying, "I don't need it. I don't need any help. I could do it all on my own." Or he says it like that. But then, when, but then the last straw was when Cranky had a net full of cabbages. And then somehow they got loose and fell on Tom, on Henry, who was con conveniently there, and Sir Topham Hat, and that was the last straw. And so, and so, Sir Topham Hat decides to go into Steamworks to fetch Kevin, you know. And he asked, or somebody asked Victor if Kevin could go work with Cranky for the day, and Victor says yes, or he, or he gives him some sort of approval like that, and. <clears throat> So you would think that it would, we would be happy to actually see two cranes work together. I wasn't really excited for Kevin and Cranky to meet up because, well, I just didn't have that kind of excitement. But uh, anyways, um, so when Cranky, I mean, when Kevin does come to the docks for the first time to meet Cranky, he's very excited, right? But guess how Cranky acts? He's like, I told her, I told Sir Topham Hat that I need any help, and I don't need your help, all right? So what you could just do is stay out of my way. And he says it in a very harsh way. He says it in a very harsh way. And let me tell you something. That really, that pissed me off as well. I mean, Kevin came over to help you, Cranky. And that's how you that's how you talk to him? Here, there's actually that part that I wanted to show you. Here, let's see if I can get to it. I'm not trying to do any copyright or anything like that. This is nothing. I'm not going to copy the whole thing. This is just what I took offense to. Uh, Oh wow. Especially from a funny little crane like you. But the fat controller said this was my special job. Surely there's something I can do that would be helpful. Wow. Oh yes, of course there is. Go over there and stay out of my way. I don't need any help, thank you very much. And then you see Salty coming up to him, you know, telling him how how it's a sunny day, but then he could see storm clouds coming up in the sky because of how, because of Cranky's attitude, basically. <clears throat> yeah, so he's kind of rude there. And this is you, you, United Kingdom, all right? He doesn't, Cranky doesn't actually call Sir Topham Hat the fat controller. Otherwise, he would have really been cooked, you know, like Sir Topham Hat really would have taken offense today. And I would have too. But anyways, I'm so, because of those words, I mean, do you see how hurt Kevin looks right there? He sits over there, and then there's Salty, trying to just comfort him. And then, but then there's some accidents that happen, you know, that Kevin decided to step up and s step up into the game and save the day. And so, here, let me see, let me get to that part for a minute. So, Cranky had a hole, had a hook full of pipes, right? He had a hook full of pipes, and guess what happens? Yeah, so, so Cranky, uh, continuing on with his work, has to carry a hook full of pipes, right? 
but then they all fall down, and luckily that guy wasn't too close to it. And then Kevin, but then Kevin decides to save, to quote unquote save the day, and and put all the and put all the pipes back into the order that they were originally in. You see him doing that? Yeah, and he puts and he does that, and Salty is happy. Well, everybody's happy except Cranky. I mean, look at his face. And wh guess how what he says. Guess what he says to Kevin. Instead of being grateful. He was furious. That was all your fault, you silly little crane. His fault. Me all the time. You're making me nervous. Now go back over there and stop interfering. Bah! I can cope. See that? That made Kevin sad. I mean, Kevin, he didn't interfere that much. He stood right over there. But then, but then when Kevin tried to help out, Cranky acts like a complete douche. He acts like a fucking douche. Uh, I, apologize, I apologize for our language. Hey! Wait, who said that? Me! How dare you use language like that, alright? You know you're not supposed to use language. Who do you think you are? Can you, like, get out of my face? I'm doing a video right now. Look, I don't want this to turn into a thing like I had with Muscle Man. Oh, Muscle Man, you mean from regular show? Yeah, look, it was all, I was trying to review two TV show episodes, and he kept on invading my privacy. Look, I don't want to deal with you again, and I, I don't want it to be that kind of thing. You know what? I'll let you slide. Just don't use the language. What? Don't use the language. So, I mean, uh, do I make myself clear? Look, I don't want to fight. I don't want any trouble. Really? You start fights all the time. All right, so... And I still think you, and I still think you traded Nixie. I'm like, crap, ow! It's still, are you still gonna go on about that? Yeah, I'm still offended by that, but you know what? I'll let you slide. Just don't use the language. You can use, like, crap and all that. You're not really my dad. Don't make me get hasty. You know what? You know, no, no, what are you gonna do? Huh? Hold on! Wait, I'm doing something right now! Hold on! Uh, yeah, I'm doing something. Who, who are you talking to? My grandpa, alright? Yeah! I'll be down in the, in the couple minutes, alright? I'll let you slide. Ow, ow. <clears throat> okay, so I'm basically, after Kevin actually does, does something good, instead of Cranky being grateful that Kevin helped out, he's all like, you, you, this was your fault. You were the one that was interfering. Really, Cranky? He stood over there the, that whole time, and what, you said that he was interfering? No, screw you, he wasn't interfering. He was helping, you ungrateful piece of crap. All right, but anyways, uh, so then, so then you see Cranky holding, uh, holding up, a, holding up like a crate of chickens in there, right? And guess what? Let me show you what happens there. And then Kevin actually does the same thing again. Oh, really? No crap. Get in there. Yeah, don't be chicken. You know what I mean? But anyways, yeah, so Kevin does the same thing, right? He does it again. He gets the chickens back in their boxes, right? This is where Salty's happy for Kevin. But guess how... This is... This is how Cranky responds. You see that? And then here comes Thomas, and I guess he, and I guess Kevin tells Thomas that things are not going so well for him, considering the fact that Cranky is not accepting the help that he needs. You know, hmm, let me say, check this out. No, you know what? No, I'm not going to check that out. So um, yeah, so two times that Kevin actually helped out, and and this is how Cranky responds. In a very mean and harsh way where it makes Kevin feel as bad. And let me tell you, there's actually, this is the last time that Kevin tries to help him. And he actually does screw up a little bit, you know. But let me show you this part, alright. And let me tell you why that really just got me steamed. Gruff, it's a heart of gold. Yeah, heart of gold. Look what happens there. He didn't know what to do, right? And so he tries to get and so he tries to get that barrel, but guess what happens when he does actually try? He actually does screw up, but only for a little bit. 
And let me tell you why this pissed me off the most. Come on. <sighs> yes, I'm gonna show you why I'm pissed off the most. Oh, there it goes. You ready to say today, Kevin? Whoops. Kevin! So this is how he sort of screws up in some way. Well, we did help you two times before. That's right. What is going on here? I thought I could trust you with this special job, Kevin. I... 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 I think you should return to the Steamworks immediately. You're not helping here at all. Kevin was so... ...shamed. He had tried to be a really useful crane. But it had all gone horribly wrong. And now he was being sent He was being sent back. That's what the narrator says. You see that? After Cranky being such a complete dick, a complete douchebag, a complete piece of shit. Hey, hell man. You know what? No. No. You know what? No. No. <clears throat> I told you not to use bad words. Look, I'm not gonna deal with your bull crap. I said crap. So I say shit? I, I, I'm warning you right now, Hellbent. Stop it. Right now. You use bad words too. Yeah, well, this is a different video. This is supposed to be kid friendly. Exactly. Look, I don't want to, You know what? Get out of here. <coughs> Get out of here. Look, just back off. You don't know me. You, know, you want to go? Look, just back off, man. Do you know me? Back off. Back off, man. I'm telling you. Just go. Please. Do you want to, I will go, you want to go? No, I don't want to go. I'm trying to do my review right now, and you're, look, I don't want to, go, just go. Hey, what do you think you're doing, you idiot? You're, oh. you think you're so tough? You think you're so goddamn tough? Let me tell you something, Hellbent. I ask you to do one simple thing, and you don't, hey, you're not my dad. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're trying to do a friendly video, but then you have to turn it into something else. I am. I'm turning it into something else. Yeah, you are. Look, just go, please. You ain't fine then. Screw you. I've had enough of this asshole here trying to be tough. I had enough of you. Well, you know what? I had enough of you. Just go. Look, please. I don't want to get injured again. All right, just please. Just go. Enjoy. You know what? I'm, not, I'm had enough. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Ow. <clears throat> yeah, sorry about that, people. So where was I? Oh, yeah. So after Cranky being mean, being a piece of shit to Kevin the entire time, like, Kevin was actually trying to help out, right? He was actually helping out with Cranky, right? But then the way Cranky responds, he's like, Oh, stay out of my way. You're the one that's causing all this. <laughs> all that mean. He's saying all kinds of horrible shit to Kevin. And I can't believe that he would act this much like a douchebag to Kevin. I just can't believe it. It just makes me so... Ugh, just makes me so mad. And then, what, at the end? When Kevin actually does screw up a little bit, I, I guess Sir Tyler Vett inconveniently came over and saw that one little screw up that Kevin did and thought that Kevin actually messed up everything. Wasn't actually helping Cranky out at all. It was, no... You want to know something to stop ahead? Cranky was the one that was messing everything up. Not Kevin. Cranky was. Don't blame Kevin. Kevin didn't do nothing wrong. He didn't do absolutely anything wrong, all right? But, of course, typical cartoon logic. If one person gets mad, mad at one... Uh, one person gets mad at somebody, and then another person gets mad at somebody. I mean, Kevin already had to go through enough yelling already, but then Sir Tom had has to be a complete douche to Cranky. I mean, to Kevin, he should have been. A, he should have gotten mad at Cranky. I mean, Cranky called him, called Sir Tyler Matt a fat controller. And although that it's not, it's not like that on the U.S. version of Thomas and Friends. That's what, it, that's what he said on there. I'm surprised that. But then Cranky actually does do something that shocks me. Well, not shocked me. But here's what Cranky does to to sort of redeem himself after Sir Tyler Matt sort of barks at Kevin. It wasn't his fault, sir. It was mine. 
Kevin was just trying to help. He's a bit reckless. Reckless? Hard worker. And really useful. Hold it. Wait, wait. Hold on. He's a bit reckless. He's a bit reckless. How is he being reckless? You were the one that was supposed to be reckless. You dropped the pipes. You dropped the chicken coop. And you knocked over the barrel. You knocked, you, you let the cabbages go loose. You almost crashed into Thomas. And you're going to say that Kevin's reckless? I mean, yeah, only because of that one thing Kevin did, almost falling into the sea, and that makes him reckless all the way through. So Topham went, so Topham had witnessed the recklessness of Cranky, and, and Cranky's gonna call him reckless? Seriously? Yeah, that's a way to redeem yourself, Cranky, saying that Kevin's reckless, even though you were the one that was reckless. God, let me just show you this. Me, and he thinks I'm really useful. And he even called me Kevin. Well done. What the fuck? Sorry. I'm sorry, yo, wait, brother, but just what the actual F. I'm not gonna use that word again. I, I I wanna try to keep it down with the language. But after so after Cranky literally telling Kevin to stand in the corner and staying out of his way, even though Kevin was literally trying to help him, and all Cranky was was a douchebag. He was a complete asshole, a jerk, a smart ass and you could say that and you can have your own opinions about this one, but this is what I think of Cranky, a monster, and if that is not even enough, here's something else that Cranky can be or was. To Kevin, he was being an outright bully. He was saying all kinds of nasty stuff to him. Well, maybe not nasty. He was being nasty to him. Kevin was literally helping him out. And that's how Cranky responds? I swear to God, if I was there, I would have gotten my axe out. And I, I would have brought my axe with me, too. And I would have chopped Cranky right down and made him pay for how he acted. I really wouldn't have done that if I was there. I don't care what anybody else would think. I don't care what the other entities would think. That piece of shit deserved it. He would deserve it. Sir Tom Hatch should have at least gotten a little bit mad at Cranky. And so, but yet, Cranky gets mad at Kevin. And then, total logic, Sir Tom Hatch gets mad at Kevin. Because apparently, Sir Tom Hatch saw Kevin as reckless, right? So Chachawa had thought that he wasn't being useful at all. Even though Kevin was being useful. He was helping Cranky out. And then Cranky's being a douchebag to him. And then well, that, that one little screw up that Kevin did do. Which landed him in the sea. Then then Chachawa had thinks Kevin is not being very useful. Even though Kevin was helping him out. So basically. Hold on. Oh shit this is running for too long. Alright so basically. final My final verdict of this episode. It was pretty bad, in my opinion, if you want to know it. And the reason I say that, other people can disagree with me and say otherwise, but I. Th but the reason I say that this episode is bad is because, one, Cranky was pretty destructive in this episode, and, and the fact that he called Kevin a little bit reckless, just no. And two, the way that Cranky acted towards Kevin, when Kevin tried to help out the past, past few times, all Cranky was was being a complete douchebag to Kevin. He was completely the he was being a complete asshole, a douchebag, whatever you want to say. And the third problem I had with this episode was the fact that Sir Topham Hat snapped at Kevin, but then when Cranky actually told him the truth, it, Sir Topham Hat's actually happy. And they they actually got along. So again, let me just re explain myself. Cranky Cranky was very busy, and he actually was cranky. And then when Kevin tried to come, and then when Kevin came to help, and when he tried to help, Cranky was acting like a complete dick. He was a complete asshole to him. And then when Kevin actually did screw up just a little bit, what, then Sir Tom of Hat has to act like a dick to him? Does Sir Tom of Hat live here? Yes. I'm gonna kick his fucking ass. That's right. If you're... You know what? Luigi. Hey, you, Luigi guy, whatever your name is. Yeah, what is it? I need you to hold this camera. Why? Hold this camera. Find an asshole. Let me hold the camera. I'm gonna teach from top of my lesson. Wait, is that why you want me to hold the camera? Yeah. 
So my final, so this is how I feel. Because of Tom, because Cranky was an asshole to Kevin, and then so Tom has has to be an asshole. Uh, wait, 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 who, what, what's this? Who are you? Wait, what's going on? I'm gonna kick your ass or top of hat. Wait, what? Wait, who are you? My name is Hellbent. And I'm really Hellbent right now. And you wanna know why? You wanna know why? Hey! You, you keep filming, Luigi. Wait, what, why is he filming? Because, get over here right now! Get over here! What is your problem, man? What on earth are you getting so mad about? Why am I getting so mad about? Why are you... Why are you... Why are you a douchebag? Why are you acting like a complete douchebag to Kevin? Huh? Why are you acting like a douchebag to him? Calm down. Stop yelling at me. I'll yell whenever I want to. Why did you act like a douchebag to Kevin? Why? You mean... You mean the crane? The small crane? Yes, him. You know, the one that works with Victor? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Why are you being a douchebag to him, huh? Why are you being a douchebag, huh? I don't remember. What What? what are you going on about? You really want to know why I'm pissed off at you? You really want to know why? Yes, why are you pissed off? You want to know? Yes, I want to know. All right, then I'll tell you right now.